If you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, subscribe to Easy Abayan Tricks and don't forget to click the bell icon for immediate updates. So problem number 6. The problem is a small problem that is to find the maximum power transferred to the load resistor RL from the voltage source, right? So given problem is related to maximum power transfer theorem, right? To find the value of RL such that it receives maximum power. To find the maximum power received by RL, not the value of RL. But to find the maximum power, you need to know the value of RL, right? If RL absorbs maximum power, then the value of RL will be equal to RS, right? So given circuit design is equivalent form itself, right? That is this is the value of Rs and this is the value of Vs, correct? So the what is the value of RL? RL will be equal to Rs, that is Rs value will be equal to 100 ohms, correct? So the problem is to find the maximum power, right? So I am redrawing the circuit with its equivalent values, that is 10 volt and here 100 ohms and here the value of R will also be 100 ohms, correct? Right. So now to find the maximum power. So what is the value formula for maximum power? Maximum power value will be equal to I square into RL. Correct. So I value is the same for a series circuit. Right. So how to find the value of I? I equal to V by RT. That is V. That is 10 divided by RT. That is 100 plus 100. That is 2 into 100. The whole square into 100. So the value will be 0.25 watt. Right. This is the way to find the maximum power delivered to your load. So 0 0.25 watt is the answer. Understand? Problem number 7, right? This question was asked in 2005 gate paper. The problem is to find the Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's equivalent resistance, right? That is Thevenin's voltage, Vs, that, is, uh, that will be equal to Vth and Thevenin's resistance, Rth, right? Across the terminals, A and B. So, this is my problem. So, find the value of Vth and Rth, right? So, how to find the value of Vth? Vth is nothing but... Vth is nothing but the open circuit voltage across the terminals A and B, right? That is, I am drawing the circuit. That is, plus minus 0.5 I1 and here 1 ampere and here 5 ohms and 5 ohms and here we need to find the value of VOC and finally we have a 10 volt branch, correct? So, this is the voltage we need to find across the terminals A and B. Correct? VOC. So, how to find the value of VOC? This particular brand, uh, this particular voltage we need to find. So, this branch is in parallel with this VOC branch, right? So, this potential is VOC, correct? That is VTH. So, just apply KCL in this particular node, you can easily find the value of VOC, correct? So, in this particular node, one incoming current of 1 ampere and other outgoing current and the other outgoing current. So, just apply KCL, that is VOC minus 0 divided by 5, correct? Plus VOC minus 10 divided by 5. Right? And the other incoming current is, the only incoming current is 1 ampere. This is the uh, final equation, right? So, on solving this equation, you can easily obtain the, find the value of VOC. So, VOC value will be equal to 15 by 2, that is 7.5 volt. So, solve by yourself, you will get the value as 7.5 volt. Understand? So, then, then the value is RTH. So, how to find the value of RTH? The circuit has both independent and uh, dependent sources, right? So, th these are the independent sources and we have a dependent source also. So, what is the value of RTH? RTH value will be equal to VOC by ISC, correct? Next is to find the value of ISC, correct? That is a short circuit current between the terminals A and B, right? So, this short circuit the branch across the terminals A and B. That is the short circuit branch, right? And this, uh, if this branch is short circuited, the voltage across this branch is zero, right? So this 5 ohm branch also has the potential zero. That is, that is this 5 ohm branch also gets short circuit. So just short circuit parallel to short circuit, you will get another short circuit only, right? So just I am removing that 5 ohm. I am not considering that 5 ohm, right? So this is my final circuit, right? So how to find the value of ISC? Just applying KCL in this node, we can easily find the value of ISC, right? So ISC in this particular node, a 1 ampere current is incoming and IAC current is outgoing. And how to find the value of current in this 5 ohm resistor? This particular node potential is 0 volt, right? That is 0 minus 10 divided by 5. 0 minus 10 divided by 5. That is, the, this current is also incoming current. Current always flows from higher potential to lower potential, right? So, 10 minus 0 divided by 5. So, your value of current will be 2. That is, 1 ampere current is also incoming. This 2, uh, 2 ampere current is also incoming. So, 1 plus 2 will be equal to the outgoing current. That is, IAC. Understand this concept, right? That is, IAC value will be equal to 3 ampere. So, just substitute the value of VOC and IAC. 
that is uh, 7.5 divided by 3 your value will be 2.5 right the question is to find the value of thevenin's voltage and thevenin's resistance right that is 7.5 and 2.5 ohm respectively understand Problem number 8, okay. So, this problem is to find the value of RL such that it absorbs maximum power, right. The, uh, the problem was appeared in gate 2002, the options are also given, right. So, the problem is to find the value of RL, right. So, it receives maximum power, right. So, just find the value, the Thevenin's equivalent circuit and uh, find the value of RL uh, that it absorbs maximum power. So, the value of RL will be equal to RS. So, the problem is to find the value of RS alone. No need to find the value of maximum power and all, right. So, just find the value of RL that will be equal to RS if it absorbs maximum power right so the first analyze the circuit the problem has both independent and dependent sources right so in case of both independent and dependent sources how to find the value of uh, rs that is the evidence uh, resistance voc by iac so find voc and iac and substitute you'll find the value of rs which will be equal to rl simple right so first find the value of voc there is open circuit voltage just open circuit this particular branch right remove the load resistance rl and open circuit a particular branch and find the value of voc so all the values are three uh, all the other values remains the same so this is voc so this particular branch also has a potential voc so this apply kcl in this particular node you can easily apply uh, find the value of our voc understand so for how to find the value of i1 so this is the current i1 given right the given the and the problem itself the current uh, i1 is given right so how to find the value of i1 i1 is nothing but our voc minus 50 divided by 40 right voc minus 50 divided by 40 from the circuit itself you can easily find i equal to v by r that is v minus 50 divided by 40 so just find uh, substitute the value of i1 and every term has a value I, voc alone so just equating you can easily find the value of voc voc value is 10 volt understand then what is the value of uh, what is the value of IEC then you know uh, RTH will be equal to VOC by IEC VOC is already found out then what is the value of IEC IEC is something but our short circuit current right so just short circuit this particular branch AB and find the value of current in this particular branch so if I am short circuiting the same concept right if I am short circuiting this branch this potential across this branch is zero so this particular parallel branch also has a potential zero so this 20 ohm is also short circuited so just we can uh, make this to two short circuit branch into a single short circuit branch itself right this is my final circuit understand so just find the value of iac what is iac here iac equal to just apply kcl in this particular node itself right so what are the incoming currents this 0.5 i1 is incoming current the other currents are outgoing understand so 0.5 that is is uh, that is um, right uh, the outgoing currents are iac and i1 right so iac plus i1 equal to the only incoming current is 0.5 so 0.5 understand that is iac value will be minus 0.5 into i1 so how to find the value of i1 i1 is given in this direction right that is how to find i1 in the circuit i equal to v by r that is uh, zero this put this particular branch is a potential zero volt right since it is a short circuit branch so zero minus 50 divided by 40 or in other term we can also say that current flows from positive to negative for higher potential to the negative potential right that is 50 to the zero volt we can also take in this manner also or you can take from the current direction is given in this way so zero minus 50 divided by 40 understand so iac value will be 25 by 40 your value will be 0.625 ampere understand this value of iac so just substitute the value in rth equation that is a voc is 10 and iac is 0.625 you'll get the value is 16 oh, that is the resistance understand so the problem is to find the value of rl only right so rl value will be equal to rs that will be equal to rth right so what's the value of rth rth value will be equal to will be equal to 16 ohms so final answer will be option a option a option a 16 ohms understand problem number 9 right so the problem is to find the value of r required for maximum power transfer in the network right so the r we need to find of r such that it absorbs maximum power it was uh, asked in 1999 gate paper the problem uh, options are also given right so to find the value of r such that it absorbs maximum power r value will be equal to the source resistance value r will be equal to rs here r indicates our load resistance right so for maximum transfer power transfer r will be equal to rs so just find the value of rs you will get the value of our so uh, our load resistance r understand so just how to find the value of the how to find the value of rs that is rs is nothing but our rth right that is thevenin's resistance so just find the value of thevenin's resistance that is uh, replace this uh, voltage source by short circuit and this current source by open circuit and final diagram will be in such manner right so just find the value of rth across the terminal c and b right 
suggest. Here, the circuit has only independent source, right? So, the calculation of RTH is very simple, right? If you have both independent and dependent sources, the same previous problem solution only, right? The previous problem way concept, right? That is, RTH will be, value will be equal to VOC by IAC. But here, this problem has only the only independent source. So, let's find the value of RTH across A and B. So, if solve from the outer side, there is 5 parallel to 20 plus 4. So, your answer will be RS will be equal to 8 ohms. Right? That is the source resistance value will be 8 ohms. So, for maximum power transfer, the load resistance value will be equal to the source resistance RS. So, oh, that is will be equal to RTH. That is what is value RTH or RS? 8 ohms. That is the solution. R will be equal to 8 ohms. Understand? And then. Problem number 10. So, this problem was asked in 1998 gate paper. That is, superposition theorem is not applicable to networks containing. These four options are given. So, always keep in mind that superposition theorem is applicable only to linear networks, right? So, the answer is not applicable to non-linear elements. Understand? So, that's all in today's lecture. So, if you like my video, do a like, share this video to your friends and subscribe to my channel Easy Abiantrix. And click the bell icon for immediate updates. If you have any doubts also you can leave a comment in my comment section. And this is TK signing off. Thank you.